Hey guys, what's up? Phil here from iPodTouchBola.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G. But before I get started, I do want to give a little shout out. Um, somebody you should check out. He's doing a giveaway right now. It's Unboxing Addict. Now he is great. I mean, he has some really nice unboxings. He gets some nice products. And um, he does have a giveaway going on right now. I'm pretty sure it's for um, iTunes gift cards. Um, he's really, really nice. He has some nice stuff here. And, um, yeah, it's extended to April 30th, so hurry up and enter. So, yeah, guys, anyway, back to this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation. Now, you will need the new Red Snow file, which is available for download at redsnow.com. The only downside to the redsnow.com is that it is a dot torrent, so you will need a torrent downloader. Um, there you have the versions for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. So you have everything you need right in one spot. But also, in the video description, I'll have a link to all of these that are not the torrents. They're dot .zip folders, uh, dot .zip files, the zip folders. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help some of you guys out a little bit. And once you have gotten it, you'll get this zip folder right here. Let me zoom in. It is a uh, red snow dot zip or red snow whatever dot zip just want to extract it so I'm gonna right click extract here and you'll have your red snow folder you can get rid of the dot zip okay now open up that red snow folder and you'll see a few things in it you'll see a red snow dot exe and a readme all right so at this point we want to put our iPod into DFU mode um, to do that, if you don't know already, let me pull this a little bit. What you want to do is hold down the power and home buttons for 10 seconds. After you're done doing that, hold down just the home button for another 8 to 12 seconds, like so. And we'll just wait here. A good little timing is wait for the chime to say it's plugged back in. All right. A good chime is once it say it's disconnected, you switch on to the next step, and once it's reconnected, you can let go. iTunes will pop up saying it is discovered an iPod in recovery mode. This is totally normal. Just hit OK and exit out of iTunes. Okay. Now you just run that RedSnow.exe. That one right here. It'll open up a command prompt. It will download all the needed files, and it will get everything ready. So we're just going to wait for it to finish boot patching some of the stuff. And it's going to load stuff on. And your, iPhone, your iPod screen will flash a few times. And then you'll get this picture. Downloading jailbreak data. Which is something very similar, similar to uh, the quick pwn. And I will move the camera down a little bit so you can see the iPod screen while this is going. All right. Now the red snow will close and this will continue to be like this but it'll have that little spinny dial thing at the bottom. This means that it's rebooting and then it's gonna load everything onto your iPod. This is completely normal. So I'm going to put this iPod down, and I will point the camera toward it so you can see it. I don't know what you can see yet. Okay. And there's Skype. Hold on. Sorry about that. No Skype. Um, and you just wait for it to reboot everything back up. And this takes anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, most likely. Depends on how fast your internet connection is. Um, so, yeah. Um, it'll stay at the screen for a little while when it's rebooting. And then the next screen is, just like QuickPone, it's loading everything up. So I'll actually come back when it comes to that screen. 
Alright, so this is what I mean by the next screen. As you see there, it's flashing the NOR firmware. And then it's also going to patch the RAM disk, upload all needed files to your iPod, and then reboot. Um, this skill, the difficulty level of this is easily like a 1 or 2. You just put it in DFU mode, plug it in, and let it run. And this is why this is the jailbreak that I use right now. It is in beta. I will caution you with that a few times. This is in beta, and my Skype keeps going off. This is in beta. Um, and if you want the completely clean 100% version, uh, still use uh, Quick Freedom or whatever you want. It's totally up to you. I just like this version a lot better because it takes a lot less time. You don't have to restore to a custom firmware, which is usually where most people have problems with the actual restoring right there. So, yeah, we're just going to wait for it. See, it's installing the bundles. And also, while this is going, I will stress this again, Unboxing Addict. Um, I just entered this giveaway. Have a lot of. I, I really think y'all should too. And um, yeah. I guess I'll come back when it's uh, rebooting. All right. So it's almost to the um, part where it reboots, as you see there. It said rebooting, and now it is just going to reboot your iPod. Um, this whole process maybe took. Mm, not long. I'm not just going to say that. It didn't take long. Um, right when I paused the camera, it pretty much flicked right back. It takes very little time. You just heard my computer recognized it. And now you have the slide to unlock screen. And when you slide, you will then have Cydia. Now, this does not give you installer or anything. You would have to install installer afterward um, from Cydia. So, yeah. Anyway, I really hope this video was helpful. All, all links will be provided over there in the video description. Uh, Phil here from iPodTouchBall.com. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.